I'm gonna hang out with these guys. I'm gonna fly the <laughs> the drone. <laughs> okay. And let's see what happens. <laughs> this is so cool. Hi guys, we are here at Amber Palace in India. Um, I'm gonna take pictures, I'm gonna record footage, I'm gonna fly the drone, I'm gonna do a lot of stuff here. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to do a few portraits here. I'm gonna use the Sony, and also I'm gonna use the Nikon with different lenses. I'm gonna go from 16, 11, up to 100, something like that. And then I'm gonna show you in post what we can do with this picture. I'm gonna take her picture, picture of her, and also picture of that lady over there. Okay guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can work with Adobe Bridge in a workflow with a Camera Raw plugin. I usually use Photoshop Lightroom, but if you don't know how to use Photoshop Lightroom, you can use the Camera Raw plugin and Adobe Bridge at the same time. And it's very powerful. Okay, here I have all these pictures that I took in Jaipur, okay, and I'm going to show you what you can do. For example, I can select this picture, I'm going to hit the spacebar, and then with the arrows on my keyboard, I can go to the following pictures. And then I can use the keys one, two, three, four, or five, okay, to add different stars. For example, this one I don't like. I like this one. I'm gonna put five stars. This one maybe you can see that is the way that I can start working with the picture. I'm gonna select just a few ones, okay. I like, for example, this picture I like a lot. I'm gonna put five stars, okay. All the pictures that I like, I'm gonna put five stars, okay. That is my idea, that is my workflow using uh, the Camera Raw plugin and Adobe Bridge, okay? I already have a picture that I select, okay? And then here on the left, I have my filters. I'm gonna hit on the uh, five stars and here you will see just the picture that I select, okay? And here on the lowest part, I have a slider that you can increase the size, okay? To see the picture on a bigger size, all right? And then I'm gonna work first on this lady, okay? Um, one of the things that is pretty cool in Adobe Bridge, okay? You can select the first picture, then hold on the shift, and then select the last picture. And then you can just double click, okay? And you will open all this picture on the Camera Raw plugin. Oh, by the way, this picture, I'm using the format Camera Raw, okay? I'm gonna hit cancel. If you, do, if you have JPEGs, okay? If you don't have raw files, what you can do is just right click and select opening camera roll okay and then you will open with the camera roll filter by the way for me the camera roll filter is much much better than photoshop to do color correction all right and i'm gonna start with this picture okay i like all this picture and i'm gonna select all you can press command a and i can start working with one picture and you will replicate the same adjustment to the other pictures all right for example here I'm gonna start working with the light, okay, and then the contrast, okay, I can reduce the highlights, something that I always do, increase the shadows, white and black, okay, work like that, and then a clarity and maybe reduce the saturation. You see, that is one idea of what you can do, okay, and then you can continue working with the curves, you can work with the, here the sharpening, noise reduction, you can see, you have the same adjustment that you have with the camera roll plugin that Photoshop Lightroom use is the same engine, okay? But in this case, I'm working just with Adobe Bridge and the Camera Raw plugin, okay? Um, 
and it's very very powerful can you see you have the same adjustment and if you have if you like this okay this setting what you can do i can go here on the right almost the last one is the preset okay and here i can create a new preset i'm gonna call this one jaipur for example all right jaipur india i'm gonna hit enter and i have that preset there okay for example i'm gonna hit in done okay and i like this preset okay and then for example i'm gonna open this picture double click and then i can go here to the preset and i can apply the same one click okay and then maybe i can go back and i can continue playing around with all these values all right that is the tip okay that is the way that you can use the camera raw plugin then you can open in photoshop if you want you can retouch the picture but that is the workflow that i do with the camera raw plugin all right i hope you like the tutorial let's continue discovering india Lavando un elefante con los grafites que le hicimos en el cuerpo. Aquí estamos, ¿no? en la India. En la India, peluciando. Okay guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you pretty cool tricks in Photoshop. First, what I would like to do, I would like to retouch this picture. With a spot healing brush tool that you have here, I'm gonna select that tool and I'm gonna retouch this wire. First, I'm gonna zoom in and then I'm gonna remove this wire here that I don't like, okay? You can just click and drag with a spot healing brush. That part is very nice how this tool works. Okay. In addition, now I would like to move the trunk. Okay. How you can do that? Let me show you. I can do it with a liquify filter or with other options, but in this case, in order to show you a pretty cool filter, let me work with this technique. Okay. First, I have to select the elephant. I can use the quick selection tool. Okay. I'm going to reduce the size of the quick selection tool brush okay here when you select the quick selection tool on the top part you can increase or decrease the size okay just continue selecting this part is a little difficult because the the texture of the trunk is a little um is similar than the background okay in that case you can select the minus here and you can subtract that area then select the plus and you can add that area okay and now you have a better selection all right i'm gonna continue in this area like this okay i'm gonna select the head okay and then the entire head and here i have to subtract this area instead to select the minus you can do is hold on the option key also and then you can subtract like that okay i'm gonna continue selecting this guy all right this part is not that difficult maybe here hold on the option we select that area and then continue selecting the legs like this we select this area okay you have to go back and forth between the minus and plus to deselect the area that you don't want to select okay like this okay sometimes it's a little difficult but no worries we will figure it out you don't have to be very accurate with this example because i'm going to use the same background and i'm planning to add another background on this okay all right and i'm gonna select the guy also everything is selected here but it's very important do not select this area and this gap between the guy there all right this is the idea and yeah let's see what's happening if i select this the stick okay it's a bamboo all right let's see what happened okay and, and this like that all right, after you create this selection, oh, I forgot this, okay. After you do this, what you have to do is select here, select a mask, okay? Just one click there, click, okay? And what will happen, you will change to another interface. And here on the right, you have the opacity, if you move to the right or to the left, okay? Just to remove the background there, okay? And here you can view on different ways. You can against another colors, on, on black, okay, and white. 
against white, against black, on layers. Can you see they have different ways, but I'm gonna keep this one on white, okay? In addition here, I'm gonna increase the edge detection. This is the idea, okay, to um, improve the selection on the borders, but I'm gonna add a little smooth here. Okay, you can see that is before, that is after. The smooth is pretty cool. And maybe a little of contrast as well. All right, and then when you have that, I have to create a better selection on this area. I like to use this brush, because with this brush, if you hold on the option, you can delete, okay, that area and works very nice. Okay, um, if you don't hold down the option, you can add selections, okay? But there are nothing that I want to add maybe in this area like this, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm happy with this result, okay? And then what is the idea? Then you have the output setting here. What do you want to do with this, okay? You want to create a layer mask, a new layer. In this case, I would like to create a new layer, okay? I'm gonna select that one and click OK. All right, and now you see I have a new layer, but the bottom layer, the background, okay, is the original, okay? And this is what I would like to do. I'm gonna hide this layer, I'm gonna show the other one. And in this one, I would like to erase, I would like to hide the, the head of the trunk of the elephant. How come I can use the, for example, the clone stamp, okay? That is one thing that you can do. All right, I'm gonna increase the size of the clone stamp. I like to use the brackets on the keyboard, the right bracket, the left bracket, okay, when I'm talking about brackets, um, talking about these two keys, all right? Okay, let's continue. And here I'm gonna hold on the option key, I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna start cloning okay, in this area. The only thing that I have to be careful, do not repeat something that is too equal, okay? The, the texture, all right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna reduce the size right click a little harder this part hold on the option key and then move the mouse and start painting here hold on the option click move the mouse and then start painting here okay that is the idea of the clone stamp maybe i'm gonna clone from here option click release the option and then start painting here that is the idea all right this part of the sand okay something similar maybe from here okay i'm gonna paint that area Okay, with the shadow, I'm gonna paint this area also. The idea is to delete this guy like this, all right? It's just to show you the idea, you know, trying to be very accurate, okay? And the thing is, I would like to create something cool for you guys. Ah, oh, this part, I'm gonna continue there, all right? Can see I don't have the head on that area. And maybe here on the top part also, I can do the same. If you hold on the option, you can click here, then move the mouse, release the option, and then you can try to match, okay, the border of that wall. Okay, we have that problem, then we will figure it out. Okay, something like that. And then with the sky, I can clone from different areas. Okay, if you see something that is weird there, also you can use here inside the patch tool, I can select all this area like this and move to another part. Okay, and now gonna look much better. Okay, that is the other option. But this is what I'm planning to do. Don't worry if you didn't finish, because look at this. I'm gonna select the top layer, can you see? This is the top layer and there is the elephant. If I select the move tool, can you see? You don't have a layer. And then I'm gonna use something that we call the puppet war. You have to go to the edit menu and select here the puppet war. What's gonna happen, automatically Photoshop is gonna create a mesh over the elephant. And the thing is you have to do a few clicks to create pins, okay? Pins in the part that you don't wanna move, okay? or the part that you want to move also. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click on this guy, and I'm gonna click upon the head and at the end on the trunk, okay? And look at this. This is so cool, can you see? You can move this guy, you can fit the elephant, or you can move like there, okay? You can do stuff like that, all right? Maybe that makes sense, okay? And then if you hit the check here, okay, you will finish with that. All right, <laughs> I hope you like this tutorial. Let's continue discovering India.